morning YouTube. It's the level up runner here. Did you level up today? Today we're doing a long run. That's part of the 2020 Peachtree Road Race training plan. The Peachtree Road Race is a 10K road race held in Atlanta. This year is going to be the 51th year. Usually it's held on July 4th, but unfortunately due to the pandemic, it got pushed to Thanksgiving. And also, unfortunately, the pandemic is still going, so that race has turned virtual. So we're going to do the Peachtree virtually this year. It has been three weeks since our last race at the Trillium Trail Trek half marathon distance in early October. It's currently November 1st. I've taken two weeks off for my ankle injury and then I've been running easy for two weeks. And this long run is going to start the four week training for the Peachtree Road Race. Let's go ahead and get started with the long run. And then after the run, I'll talk about this mini training block for the Peachtree 10K. Let's get started. For our long run today, we have a goal time of 90 minutes. Next week, the plan is to do 100 minutes, go back down to 90, and do a medium run the week after. Because that weekend, that fourth weekend, is going to be the race. Going super easy pace, keeping the heart rate low. Going steady. Thirty minutes in, sixty minutes to go. Got another hour. Let's keep pushing. Fifty nine minutes in, we're taking a break. I'm eating my honey stinger gel. Final long run time one hour thirty three minutes, so that's ninety three minutes. 
distance was 7.72 miles. Not too bad. It's little over 12 minute per mile pace, which is a pretty good, nice and easy pace. I'll go ahead and talk about the mini trading segment that we'll be doing for the Peachtree Road Race in four weeks. It's going to be the virtual 10K. So for the Peachtree Road Race, we're doing something a little different. We're going to be incorporating more speed work this time. So in early October, we had the Trillium Trail Trek, which was a trail half marathon. And for that one, it was mainly Maffetone training at easy pace with some hills sprinkled in at the end. It was our first time doing Maffetone training. After we saw great benefits, we decided to continue with the MAF training. So what we're going to do in this mini block is transition to 80-20, where 80% of the time on feet will be in the easy heart rate zone and the other 20% will be spent in a higher intensity heart rate zone. So that'll be incorporating speed work alongside hill repeats as well as tempo workouts. So we'll be doing five runs per week. One of those runs will be a long run. Two of those runs will be incorporating higher intensity workouts such as a tempo run, hill repeats, and speed play. For example, we'll be doing three reps of two minutes hard, two minutes easy. So that type of training will be for the first three weeks. The last week will be the taper week and the virtual race would be on Thursday on Thanksgiving Day. So that's our midi trading segment, trying out 80-20, transitioning from the map training that we did before. So we're excited to see how it turns out. And this long run officially kicks off this mini training block for the Peachtree Virtual 10K in four weeks. And I'll keep making new videos on the different workouts that we'll be doing and trying out this 80-20 training program. Make sure you level up today. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any comments or experience about this 80-20 training, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you very much. It's the Level Up Runner. And see you in the next video.